is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Real Touch and GML here back with another Java game development tutorial. This is going to be the 21st episode, so let's get right into it. Uh, right off the bat, what I'm going to say is, you know, as this series has been dragging out over the months and all of that, I have, of course, been learning new things and going back on it, I realize how I might have you know, could have done something better here, could have done something better there. So I'm just going to change the collision methods today. And uh, and this is gonna make it a lot easier for us to do uh, collisions with, you know, other sort of, other sort of things here. So like for example, you could not, once you, all right here, let me try and explain this here. With this physics collision right here, we're just putting in the linked list, which means we cannot return uh, a specific a specific entity A that we want. So just if it, if it comes in contact with any entity A uh, grouping, then do this. We can't say specifically, you know, and then and then we can't say delete the bullet because we've got the entire entity A linked list. How do we know it's a bolt that's hitting it? So basically that is what we're gonna be doing today. All right, so I'm gonna go into the physics class here. And instead of linked list, all I'm gonna say is entity B. And then you, you can just do that. And then ent B. And we can get rid of this for loop here. Okay, we can do the same down here. Entity A. Ent A. Okay, get rid of the for loop. And get rid of this. Alright, so there we go. Now we just need to change a couple things in the collision here. So we need to actually put in a specific entity A list here. So for that, I'm going to create a for loop. Int I equals zero. I is okay if I could spell I is less than game dot ea dot size I plus plus okay and now what we're gonna say is entity a temp ent equals game dot ea dot get I and we can import entity a now if we put this in here and instead, instead of game dot ea we say temp ent it's now valid okay so now what we can do here is if we went ahead and ran it as you can see it still all works but now what we're able to do is also in turn delete the bullet so c dot remove entity temp ent so there you go so that's kind of like, kind of what I was talking about. Um, now we can delete the bullet on contact, which is, which is I, I know a lot of people have been actually asking for that. Okay. So there we go. That's some updated collision. I'm gonna go ahead and do a health bar now. So we're gonna get into the actual goal of this tutorial. All right. So. What we're gonna do for health bar, you can do this any kind of way you'd like. Uh, I'm just gonna do it in the game method, just because it seems a little bit easier. So I'm just gonna make a public static int health equals 100. And in the render method here, all I'm gonna say is, I'm gonna draw to health bar. So g dot set color, color dot gray, g dot fill rect, and I'm gonna have this in the top left corner. So I'm gonna make it five pixels down, five pixels down. The width is gonna be 100, and the height is going to be 50. Let's see how that looks. Okay, let's make the health a little bit longer. What about 300? That's a little too long, about 200. There we go, I kinda like that. So in the health, variable up here we can just say 100 times 2 uh, 
here we are. So now let's go ahead and copy that. Let's not paste down it two more times. And now let's say green. And instead of 200, we're gonna put in the health variable. And for here, instead of fill, I'm gonna just say draw. And it's gonna be white. So here we go. Now we have a cool little health bar thing. So now what we need to do is we need to make it go down on impact. So I'm gonna do the same sort of thing. Go into the player class here. And for here, create a for loop, int i equals zero, i is less than game.eb.size, i plus plus. And we actually haven't put in game. Let's just do that real quick. Game, game. Game game. This that game equals game. Which of course in turn we need to go into the game class here and put in this. Okay. So there we go. Let me just say entity b temp ent equals game dot eb dot get i. Now we say if physics dot collision this and a or no, I'm sorry temp and then all we have to do is say <clears throat> C dot remove entity temp and game dot health minus equals 10 Do we not have controller in here either? We do not have controller in here either. That's great. I might actually start up a new series. Um, just a small series on creating a very efficient game. Uh, like for example, you see how we have to import all this stuff all the time whenever. There's actually a good way around that, but the way I structured this uh, code at the time you're not going to be able to do that. And this has to be C, which means we have to put this below the controller here. So tell me if you guys want that. It'll probably be the, the only bad thing is I probably have to put a stop to the series. So if you want me to just go on with this, then that's fine. All right. So let's go and run it. Play. And as you can see, we crash into the, the enemy here and our health goes down. Pretty sweet. And of course we need to set the enemy kill count. Um, that's, uh, no, what was it? I don't even know what it was. Let's see here. Let's go to the bullet. And we didn't do it in the bullet, did we? No, we did not. Enemy here. Game dot set enemy killed. There we are. Now if we run it, yes play, we crash into all of them, still releases a new wave. And there we go, so now we have a health bar. Now the, the way you can check for this is just in the game class, if health is less than zero, then you know do whatever actions you'd like. And we could do that in the next tour if you'd like. Or again, like I said, if you want me to go into a series on very efficient game let me know but again we'd have to probably put a stop to this series so this is all in your hands uh, tell me what you think go leave a like go and subscribe let's go ahead and try for 25 likes going a little bit low here but let's just try for 25 likes i'm happy with that all right so i will see you guys next time peace